Good morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Yesterday, I graced you with footage from my Samsung S22 Ultra, and I promised that today I would do the iPhone 13 Pro Max. It's not gonna be any different. I'm still looking at myself on the screen instead of the damn camera. You're gonna just have to deal with that because I just can't even get it in my head to look at the right place. Okay, so I was gonna go to the chiropractor, and I still am, but I have less than a mile of range worth of gas. So I need to go to the gas station first. Today, it, it, again, it's a typical Monday, sort of. I should have had my team call at 10, but that got pushed back to 2.30. So I have a call at 12 and 2.30 then I need to do a ton of shit to get ready to go on the road. So what's going on with this now? I have this set up for 4K24 and I'm not using the camera app on this. I am using Filmic Pro. Most of the time, unless I'm specifically trying to show you that I'm using my iPhone, I use it when I'm filming one of the setups that I'm using, such as my A7 IV. So I can't film with the a7 IV to show you that I'm filming the a7 IV, so I end up using the iPhone. It's, a, it's really convenient to use it that way. I probably should use the phones more, and I'm going to start using them more for, for simple little things, you know, where I'm just lugging around a big-ass camera, or I don't feel like bringing the Insta360 RS with me, stuff like that. But already you can see that, you know, like I'm in the frame, you can see outside, you can you can catch everything and see that there is an outside. It's not all blown out like it would be if I had the camera on here. So, but you know, it doesn't look too bad. As far as sound goes, yesterday using the S22 Ultra, I was just using the inherent phone's microphone, but then when I pulled it into Final Cut, and I, I forgot to say that on the video, I was using voice enhancement. So it, it was trying to single out the voice more than anything else because there was so much noise from, you know, just being in the Forerunner and all the, the freaking motor noises, you know, all the ACs and everything that were running when we were at the farmer's market and shit like that. So it, it got to be a real pain in the ass. And I put that on there and I think that may have muffled it a little bit more. And I know that it really dropped the volume level and then I had to raise the volume level after that. So this time today, I'm not doing any enhancement or anything. I'm using everything straight out of the camera. So, all right, I need to get gas and then I need to go get cracked. All right, so I got gas. That was almost $79. Thank Zeus the company's paying for it, right? All right, so today is literally like I'm gonna be in my office a lot more than I'm not, simply because I have a ton of shit to do to get ready to go on the road. And, and the typical Monday calls and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna try to get uh, as much filmed here and there as I can, just so that you can get an idea of, of how this camera works. I'm not gonna be disappointed, I'm sure. I mean, I liked my 12 Pro Max footage and I did shoot some stuff with the work phone, which is a 13 Pro Max and, and it seemed fine. So I'm sure that this is gonna be even better. Do I need to use Filmic Pro? Probably not. In fact, I'll probably interject some normal, like inherent camera footage just because, you know, I mean, I don't know how many people are gonna go out and get Filmic Pro. I think you kind of get the idea of what it's gonna be like inside the Forerunner because that's where I spend most of my time. I'm fortunate enough that today is another gorgeous day. It's already 78 degrees. It's not even 930 yet. Okay, so enough in the, in the Forerunner. Uh, I'm gonna go get cracked and see what else I can film for you. So I came to the mall to go to the van store finally since I was right here uh, at the chiropractor. And I shit you not, it's not open. Really, nothing's open yet. But there are just older people walking around. I'm one of those older people just doing the mall loop. And I, I find that endlessly amusing that I'm walking in the mall before anything's open with a, a dozen or two older people. Oh, my life is so amazing. <laughs> okay, let's go before I 
do something stupid. Okay, so I've switched to the internal camera, the normal camera, and I wanna show you something. That's the sky on that side. Look at it, pretty blue sunshine. Now look at the sky on that side. Ooh, dark, evil, rainy. Yeah, so it's about to let loose. You can actually feel that it's about to let loose. And some of that shit over there looks pretty, pretty brutal. So I think there's no denying that it's totally gonna rain. And I just wanted to show you how this shows you the clouds on everything. So uh, also you cannot switch the camera around here uh, like you could on the other one where it just, I could flip flop like on the, the S22 Ultra. So yeah, all right, so let's go inside before we get struck by lightning and or rained on. Okay, I tried to show you the storm, but the windows were too rainy, and I tried to record it on the other camera. It was completely, like, it didn't even storm that hard when we had hurricanes here. So for now, you can see the sky is still really dark over there, but you can also see that the sun's out now. So it is just crazy. And apparently it's gonna start storming again shortly, and we're supposed to get hit on like that again. And that was pretty, like, I thought for sure that I was in a tornado by seeing how much swirling there was going on with the rain and the, all the branches and the trees and shit. So pretty interesting. All right, kids, I'm just gonna end up cutting this short. I'm not gonna get to go outside and show you anything else. It stormed so viciously hard that I think that it was worse than when we actually had hurricanes come through. I mean, I thought for sure that that I was in a funnel cloud. That's that's how hard the wind and the rain were going. And, in, and out in the street here, it was literally swirling, which kind of freaked me out. Um, and it, I mean, it did that for a while and then it stopped and then the sun came out. And now it's all dark and shitty again and thunder and lightning are back. So it's gonna happen again. Sorry, I'm like kind of winging this around, holding it in my hand. That's all I'm gonna do for you today, but, and I'm putting this up here now just so that you can see all the colors in, in the painting back there on the computer screen and on the TV screen, just so you can get an idea of, of the kind of colors that this is, is capturing. So you know, I got a lot of colors going on in here. And uh, this is under normal office lights, no studio lights whatsoever. And I just wanted to show that to you. And I don't know what it sounds like. I know that some people were disappointed in the sound on the S22 Ultra, but that wasn't necessarily the S22 Ultra's fault. And this time I'm not putting any kind of fix over anything. You're gonna hear what you hear and that's that. So that's it. That's the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Both of them are great. Again, on this iPhone, I would prefer to use the Filmic Pro app to do any kind of recording. I just think it gives you a lot more control over stuff. And, you know, I'm just like you guys. I like to feel like I've got a choice over what I'm using and how I'm setting it. So that's good. But for real quick captures and all that kind of stuff, this works just fine. I'm sorry. This is so jittery. It's kind of annoying me. I don't know why they're, I must not have turned on any kind of uh, stabilization or whatever. So sorry. All right. And I keep looking at myself. So I'm done. That's all you get. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.